obtain data for verification of predictions on performance, especially as to range and speed. Fully briefed as to the test plane's course and time of arrival, Convair camera crews were placed at selected positions on a West Texas lake. The total result was 10 seconds of film or a couple of blinks of the human eye. Farther out in the mountains of West Texas, still another Convair camera crew awaited. On its approach at Mach 0.92, the B-50H could not be heard. Obviously, this keeping pace with its own sound could prove a factor in escaping enemy observation at low level. As we have just heard, the sound of a B-58 is intense during the moment of its passing directly overhead. Strangely enough, though, observers at no more than two miles off its flight path reported its characteristic whoosh as barely discernible. Over south central New Mexico, the pilot descended to 200 feet to seek out areas of lush vegetation in order to check bug accretion on the windshield. The few bug impacts were found to have a negligible effect on the pilot's vision. This can be attributed to the highly swept configuration of the windshield. Low-flying aircraft normally experience considerable atmospheric turbulence over rough, arid terrain in warm weather. Aircraft 22 was no exception, with just such conditions in 